greatest pressures perhaps still lie ahead of them. Well, you're certainly now coming into the business end of the season where results are certainly more magnified and runs now from now to the end can be so, so important. It's that you know, You've got a good local club here playing good football. You've got a chance of going into the Football League. Talash. Only just wide from the number nine. Just one of those ones, you think that's just going to creep into that far post. Oh, no, the goalkeeper was just a little bit flat-footed. That's a poor one to go through there. Well, Stokes wanted the pass out of, but I can see why Tollage has taken that on. Amaluzo. Banks. Away by Tolash. Con Clark loves these sort of situations. He'll go for goal. And pushed away by Van Stappersuf. What I love about him is just every time he gets on that half turn, he is positive. Every time, whether there's a drive towards the box, a positive pass, or the confidence there to use the outside of his boot just to try and curl it in that corner. Can often be a little bit of an argument at times over assists. Sometimes different uh, statisticians and websites will credit slightly more than you know, where the assist has been disputed, but he's down as 10 this season. And 16 goals. Talaj has done well, showed good strength. It's difficult to get a shot off though. Widrington played it wide. There's the crossing towards Tolage again, and Barham was in there too. Well, Tolage did really well when that first phase of play happened because he, he was quick to react to keep the ball alive. Just a run across. Lewis Baines there at the near post. Whether or not he's just gone too far across the near post to try and direct the header towards goal. Lovely first touch there by Con Clark, and there are numbers forward here for Alti. Linney's peeled off to the right. That's where the ball goes. Others arriving. But straight at Van Stappershoof. And Monoga puts it into touch. Yeah, brilliant awareness. I spoke about Con Clark on the half turn. I know you're in your own half, and how positive he is there to ride two challenges and not be selfish with the ball, delay the pass. They just pass it in there to Linney. Tolage with the header. Stokes looks for Tolage again. The referee's played an advantage here. Glover's arriving. It's still with Tolage. Little back heel and the shot from Stokes warms the hands of Matt Gould. Certainly been the best out ball on the counter attack, Tolage. He's just trying to open up an opportunity to get on that left foot of his and get the shots off. Selfishly plays it back there. Con Clark, Amaluzos, peeled off to the right, and that's where the ball goes, and he's in here! Great recovery challenge that by Harfield. Just delayed it ever so slightly there. Amaluzor banks. chance that for Alti. It was a big chance. I say you're quite right to mention there, just the delay in the shot slightly. They let Harfield to come across and then make that really important block. It does certainly show the frailties of where all the shots are at defensively. The high line dominating the game for a large period of this first half and all of a sudden the through ball's gone there, but he just almost has to adjust his body to get the right contact just there. Angle's always going to be working against him, but taking an earlier shot may have given himself the better angle to hit it across the goal. Still moved to Bristol City in the summer is how he's worked his way back up, having been with Ipswich as a youngster. Sometimes you have to go back to build again, don't you, as a young player? Glover. Harfield on the outside of Glover. Tetek to Harfield. It's fallen nicely here, and it's thumped in! What a strike that is! 
Tyler Frost with the goal. Wasn't messing about there, was he? Brilliant strike to put the shots in front. A yeah, big goal just before half time. Probably a goal they've just been edging all the shot, but take nothing away from the emphatic finish. They've had warning signs altering them in this first half, especially down this left hand side. The amount of time and space that Harper's had time to put crosses into the box. Defend that first ball well, but you've got to go and try and win those second balls and react. Frost is the player that does react. It's a brilliant touch with the outside of his right foot there to set the shot up nicely. An emphatic finish into the top of the goal. No goalkeeper saves that one. And finally, we've seen the deadlock broken. Well, they missed him against Files, the 5 0 loss on Tuesday night. Frost missed that one through injury. Banks. Stokes with the ball forward. Barham with Tolage through the middle. Stokes arriving on the edge of the area. Still Barham. Oh, and it fell to Tolage, who didn't need asking twice. Proper centre forwards finish. Predatory that from Laurent Tolage. And in added time at the end of the half, hold the shot, double their lead. Well, you can't say again. Altrincham have not had warning signs of the way that all the shot are playing on the counter attack. And again, it's that one ball that kind of breaks that midfield line that starts another counter attack in play. They're in comfortable possession. And then he turns into danger, and all of a sudden they're away. And two or three times in this first half, all the shot have found themselves in this position, but they haven't had the quality and the discipline to make the right decisions. I think as a goalkeeper, you'll be disappointed with that one because he sees a lot of the ball. Could you go and close it down as a fullback slightly quicker? Yes. But Tolage, with confidence, all good centre forwards do this. They wait for a goalkeeper's parry. He's the first one to react and hit it into the back of the net. Again, the next goal is going to be crucial. Menai Essay, he's on loan from Walsall. It's come to Barham here. And Stokes wanted the pass, you could hear him. Barham went for goal. Two. But it's Cooper who comes away with it. Good ball to Con Clark. Linney wants it. It's forced him further wide than he might have liked, but it's kept in play. Up against Menai Essa. Oh, it's a great effort. It wasn't too far away, and it took a deflection, actually. It'll be a corner. Now, good play there, Con Clark. Mentioned again on that half turn, starting the counter attack. And yes, they're, they're just showing him inside, which is always going to be a danger. So you take the shot towards goal. I just think the deflection maybe just takes the sting out of the shot. Then I essay. Lumps forward by Van Stappersoff. Backing off a bit here. Fairly routine save for Gould in the end. It's been brought down really nicely by Daly. And a good save by Gould. That could have finished it off as a contest. So he's picked up one or two positions since coming on, James Daly. So you're watching the defender playing very deep. Not notching up that 15th victory. A 16th victory. Uh, yeah, 15th, I should say. Con Clark. Cosilo. Marriott. And maybe just one of those days for Altrincham. Yeah. yeah. Just said the words out of my mouth there, I just felt that... Mentioned about not controlling the game with the ball. Really testing the goalkeeper too often. Con Clark with a really well-measured pass. Jones with the chance to cross. It's a good ball too, over towards Dior. Angus. But it just won't go for Alti today. Decent play again there from Con Clark. 
Maybe just shading slightly offside when the ball was played through there. It's Eddie Jones, we hit him a really good ball to the far post. So Aldershot bounced back immediately from their midweek defeat to Files. Great reaction from Tommy Widrington's sides.